All right, we got the place cleaned up. I'm getting it leveled out a little bit. And we are ready to start setting those pads in place. Ellie's been a good girl helping me out. Taking sticks away, huh? Being a good girl. Right, I got a load of dirt, gravel. Um, I'll find out the name of these pads here. Got 12 of those. Got my cinder blocks. Leveled this out pretty good. Or so I thought. I'll explain more on that in a minute. For now, my microphone died for the rest of this video, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any audio. Let me explain what I'm doing here. I'm laying out these permeable pavers that I got and kind of eyeballing them right now into location of where the pads on the sawmill line up. They vary from pad to pad, so the distances weren't all the same on a few of them. Here I'm kind of eyeballing where the old sawmill was lined up with the bunk, just to get some idea of rough location, kind of lining everything up. At this point, all I had done is kind of backdrag the area in general where I was going to be putting this. But after a little more consideration and realizing that my eyeball may not be exactly exact as I want it to be, I decided I would bring out the laser level and make sure my landing is going to be level and straight to start. In this part of the video, I was just explaining that I was decided to bring out the laser level because I realized that this end of the pad was probably about an inch or two down lower than the other end. And even with the dirt I had brought in already, it wasn't enough. So here I'm adding some more dirt towards the end of the um, landing where I know it's going to be a little low. I decided to start at the other end because I knew that was the end that I would have to bring the other opposite end up to. So once I established that height, I could make sure that the rest of the pads would equal at least that height. This part of the process actually gave me quite a bit of satisfaction to know that obviously starting out with a level surface is going to be important. So. Getting this done was actually enjoyable. I don't have a lot of experience with the laser level, but I knew enough how to work it to do this. And I gotta say, I was pretty happy with the outcome. Once I had the permeable pavers in a good location, I would fill in a little bit of dirt to kind of hold them down and keep them in location. They lock in really well once you start putting dirt in them. Uh, they hold quite a bit of weight and they're really an interesting product, uh, more designed for, well, anything other than maybe putting them under your lawn. If you're gonna have a little parking area, you don't want to be ruined, uh, ruin the lawn, stuff like that. There's a lot of different uses for them. You can look them up online, permeable pavers. I think these are lawn ones, they call them. Here I'm realizing I gotta bring in a lot more dirt. So I loaded up another bucket tractor got it all spread out here and went ahead and put my papers down
I tried to make sure everything was as level and straight as possible. I took my time during this part of the process just to, as I said, try to make sure everything was going to be as straight as possible to start off with so that when I started laying my concrete blocks on top, everything would start out uh, with a good base. I was actually quite surprised how much it needed to come up on this one end. It's close to three inches, which tells me the previous setup was pretty far off. I was having a little trouble keeping Ellie from digging holes around the base I just dug. But basically here I'm explaining that I have everything nice and leveled out. I have a little bit of dirt in place currently to just hold everything in place for now. I will get some more dirt and uh, we'll fill this in a little bit more. But here you can see how much I had to bring in, kind of explaining a little bit. So you can see everything's lined up pretty nice, pretty straight. Kind of what I'm showing right here. I also made a little bit of recess in between the pads so that the water that comes down will have a place to continue on through instead of piling up on the uh, side of the sawmill where the sawdust lands. Here I brought in some more dirt to finish covering them all up. As you can see, this is where I'm making the little trenches down in between each landing, just to kind of uh, allow the water to flow down through because water comes down off the hill. So anyway, that's pretty much the end of this video. In the next video, I'll be placing the cinder blocks in place and starting to build the new platform. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.